Niall Durham, thank you so much for bringing me to Gormley's, your favourite bar. You're very, you're very welcome, Gary. Have you, have you never been? Never been, and my very first question has to be, <laughs> how is your one sort of cream colour, and my one is a yellow colour? <laughs> I think I think we're, you know, kind of carbon dating the pub here, you know. I think you've got maybe an older version of, you know, the pub. Mine is a little bit more up to date. I, it's even actually slightly changed from the picture I'm at. During COVID, they built a front oh. kind of outdoor area that you could COVID-friendly you know, drink or whatever, smoke in. So it's sli- slightly even cha- changed from that, you know. I was told recently, Niall, that uh, most of the the flirting goes on in the smoking areas of pubs now. And they call it uh, smirting. <laughs> right. You're more you're more knowledgeable on, on, smir- well, on smirting than me. A man told me. But why is it, <laughs> why is it your favourite part? Why is it my favourite bar? Well, Gormley's is in Garristown, North, uh, North County, the Wilds of North County, Dublin. And that is where I am from, where I grew up and where I currently live again. So, yeah, I haven't moved uh, to come back back, back to Garristown. So uh, it is my literally my local, I suppose. So, you yeah, know, it's it. a place where, where you still, you know, you know, not that everyone's still around, but you'll still meet, you know, childhood friends and you know, people you play football with, you know, family, all that kind of stuff, you know, special occasions, Christmas, you know, would have went to watch the World Cup final there, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, really so for that reason, I suppose it's more, the, you know, the people, the location, that kind of side of things. You know, it is a very kind of traditional, you know, kind of bar, two nice warm fires if you were to walk in there today and a nice kind of a nice pint of Guinness, you know. You know, you may, you know, you may turn some heads, you know, there's a very local bar, you know, you, you might, you might get the, oh, yeah. a bit of a sneer when you walk in, you know, who's this, who's this guy, who's this out of town guy, you know, but, you know, they'd warm to you, you know, they'd warm to you soon enough, Gary, you know. And how long, just a good question, how long would you have to live in Garristown before you would be accepted oh, as not, I, not, not a blow in? A couple of I'm, days. You know, I'm, you know, my parents moved there, you know, from Artane and Santry and then, you know, so I'd be, you know, kind of, I suppose, first generation or whatever. So I wouldn't really, I'd say my kids might be accepted, Gary, you know, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> Those out of towners, you've got to look at Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could possibly still be a blow-in even though I've lived there all my life, you know. <laughs> but there's a nicety to that as well because, you know, for, for viewers that uh, uh, aren't overly familiar with the Irish pub, I think um, it, it's more banter than anything else there isn't that real or oh, you're a real out of towner because oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah we just want to use that as a way of getting to talk to you so where are you from yeah 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 <laughs> and who's your mother <laughs> and who's your mother and are you and o'hara oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so listen so we're sitting in that bar and the reason that we're both with photographs of outside it's a very well kept secret like we i couldn't find any Pictures of inside, actually. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. What, what goes on there stays on in there, you know? Oh, really? It's the original yeah. Vegas, is it? And also, I'm not sure if it's the same, but originally it was very hard to get phone signal in there when mobiles came out. So, you know, I don't know, whatever you done to the place was great. You know, you could you could, you, you could, you could spend hours uninterrupted up there, you know? That's why probably the clientele would like it as well, you know? Yeah, but it's a bit like flying at the moment. There was a certain time there, not too distant, that uh, you you could allow yourself not to be connected. You could just because you couldn't, right? Yeah, and now yeah. When you get, now when you get on the plane and you see Wi Fi available, it's just winking at you. Yeah, yeah. We and, we, and, we just have to. You have to stay plugged in, like don't you? Yeah, you know, kind of thing. Whereas there, for what, re- for what reason? Yeah, for what reason exactly? So listen, we make our way in. What's the name of the barman? Do you, do you, do you, Niall. Say Niall. Niall Gormley is the, the, the public in there. Say hello to him. So, I know he's, a, he's a big favourite of your bar sales chats. I think he'll probably, he'll probably watch. Ah, so Niall, we asked Niall, Niall, give us a couple of points there. And I'm going to yeah. ask this, my new friend, Niall uh, Durham. And he also, <laughs> it's, it's, it's her, that must be a trend out there. You've got about four names and you happen to be the Niall. And he was yeah. the Niall. You, Paul and something else. <laughs> And so talking about phones, if he had some signal, you can only have three apps on the phone. Right. What's the the go to three apps? Nothing else. These three apps and why? Uh, Okay. 
Uh, pro- uh, yeah, you probably have to choose WhatsApp, I suppose, because otherwise you're probably disconnected from society. Anyway, for my yeah, for my my generation, anyway, you know. Uh, you're probably well, thanks disconnected. for that. Thanks for that. Now, why are you saying that? Yeah, I get it. All right. No, no, not you. I, I, no, I, I'm not, like not. My 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 eighteen year old cousins and stuff like that apparently don't use it at all. So you know, uh, they, they that's they, right. They, Snapchat. They, they, Snapchat is yeah, or seems seems to be uh, more. So yeah. Uh, probably WhatsApp I'd have to keep just for uh, keeping in touch. Uh, then I'd probably choose just Google Chrome because I can access a lot of stuff with that. I suppose that gets me around like having because I don't I I basically use my phone for keeping contact with people and news or sport sport pre- predominantly. So that would get me kind of around that. And then it would be a toss up either between probably. Probably like a Spotify or like um this app I have for swim uh, for swimming kind of track tracking that so I don't know what you know is it better to be healthy or you know or, or listen or 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 keep Spotify I probably I probably use Spotify more potentially you know so you're the first person well many people have answered that particular question but I like are you an engineer by Training by any chance? A science, a science scientist is actually. Yeah. I'll there. tell you why that's obvious is because the old Chrome browser that actually is like getting access to thousands of apps. Whereas yeah. most people pick the three apps and that's it. Whereas you've actually reserved the right to go to the websites of most of those places. That's clever. Yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah plus i actually probably use chrome a lot just for like looking up stuff a lot regardless but yeah you know yeah but it does get you around you know yeah, it gets you around but i must say about spotify too it's certainly during covid uh, uh and the lockdowns and stuff it was just great it was a savior wasn't it? oh yeah absolutely yeah yeah no it is and you know it, it is always good fun then they get the year of you and especially if you have kids and you know you get you know 50 top nursery rhymes as your most listened to you know that's always a <laughs> What's that? <laughs> hey, that's a good one for the bar, all right. You're going to be really, really popular in the bar. When did I tell you, lads? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm going to say mine with Post Malone and <laughs> these other ones. But <laughs> I'm probably. Yeah, no, no my, my, mine's old McDonald's had a farm, you know? The old, the old classics are the best, man. The old classics are the best. <laughs> So the bar- door bursts open and we're sitting there and there's somebody standing there dead or alive that you'd love to be standing there, should I say. Who would it be? Uh, I probably, I'll, I'll, I'll answer both, I think, actually. Uh, and dead would be my gra- my grandmother, who would be quite an interesting one to pick to have a point in the pub, seeing as she is a, was a pioneer all her life. And also, her dad owned number of pubs around Dublin as well, and maybe that's maybe that's some of the reason. But yeah, it would be good to sit down and have a chat, a chat with her, especially, I suppose, as my life has changed and be talk with family and stuff. And I actually lived with my granny for a good while during college and stuff, so we always would have had you know good chats, chats you know that you know if your mother asks you questions would annoy you, but if your granny asks you, you have a good chat about and they're kind of interested in. In her life and stuff like that, so she I probably judging you. she wasn't judging. Yeah, you. I, yeah <laughs> she might be, but it's, it's sort of feel when there's that disconnect or something like you know. If, if yeah, yeah. If you wonder you feel being judged. If it's a granny, you kind of just ah, we're just having a nice chat, you know, kind of way, you know. But um, and, and yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know what you think as a pioneer. Pioneer of us meeting again in a pub, but you know, she'd be. She, <laughs> it's a word I haven't heard now for a very long time. People just don't drink anymore. Uh, yeah, so, it's true. But, actually, yeah. But, 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 you don't say I'm a pioneer. There was a general movement. It was way more, wasn't it, than just I don't drink. There was a lot of other stuff that they did as a community, didn't they? It was Yeah, I think so. I know you did get recognised and you have stuff like the Pioneer Pin and stuff like that that people recognise that you are and stuff like that. Um, that you are, I suppose, it, it, it probably would have went hand in hand, I suppose, with, you know, you, you know, religion or, you know, you yeah. go, go with the mass and stuff like that as well as a... As a kind of a, a, a belief, I think as well, you know. And your great grandfather then was a publican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he owned, yeah, he owned pubs and 
what is this pub? One of those pubs is where you know the old, it's kind of gone now. So it's the Ulster Banker Pyramid Building. Oh yeah, the old yeah. one of George's Key, is it George's, George's Key? Yeah, yeah, along there in George's Key, and one up on then moved to Parnell Street, I believe. Also, I'd one of Bayer and Cavan, and then moved them down to uh, down to Dublin. Then, what? then and then he then he opened a bakery. Would you believe after all that? Moved the license from Cavan to Dublin. He just bought a new pub. From, oh, yeah. You know, moved, moved, moved everyone from Bailbrook and Cavan down to down to Dublin. You know, so you're actually you're publican, then you were a baker, and now you're Jenny Mac candlesticks. Were candlesticks close up <laughs> getting back to nursery rhyme? The publican, <laughs> the baker, and the candlestick maker. You know, you can have your own nursery rhyme. So that's your second app, and your uh, Spotify. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And your mother and your grandmother. Jenny, Mike, we're getting very deep on this very early. No, I <laughs> I'm giving you the full family tree here. We're giving you the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garristown. I want to go back to Garristown because it's yeah. not somewhere I have to be brutally honest and say I frequented. And um, where is it between? Um. So yeah, it's very much so on the you know border with uh, me, like a few hundred yards in a couple of directions you would uh, you would be made so if you look on back of yours you see Dublin flags and the back of mine you see murals and stuff that's so uh, Dean Rock who was local and stuff. so so you know as a place I suppose you know identity Dublin is a big thing because you're on the border I suppose so it's yeah. like so like Ashburn County Mead is 10 minutes away that's where I would went to school or like Swords is 20 minutes away the other way you know as I describe it to most people, everyone is kind of half an hour generally away from me. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. um, kind of, you know, I work in Mount High now, that's kind of half an hour, you know, that kind of, you know, that kind of way, you know. So, uh, um, yeah, it's it's quite, it's, it's it's you know, well, we have two pubs now, actually. Two pubs, you know, one shot, a shop, a butcher's. It's quite, you know, for it being in Dublin, it's, you know, that kind of typical rural village, really, you know. You know and you have a dog. Big you farming. Would, yeah, they're, just, they're, pub, they're the pubs, they're the, the, pubs dogs actually so you'll have them going around the pub and at your feet when you're having your pint beside you know beside the fire you know so um and a half yeah. an hour from dublin because it's half an hour from everywhere yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> that's a selling point garris down half an hour from everywhere you know that's what the, that's what the, the real estate agents love to put up you know a half an hour from the airport <laughs> half an hour <laughs> sorry actually i might lie they might actually say 20 minutes from the airport yeah yeah but well, it depends what google map you use and whether you're yeah. going for the, the, the i was looking last night and it gave me three options the fastest and alternative and actually now the the most sustainable which is pretty cool so oh, it's, long, right. it's longer, but they're bearing in mind, you love this actually, they're bearing in mind that uh, electric cars on motorways oh, right. don't have the braking, so therefore you're not regenerating. Whereas if oh, you go okay. through braking places, you're regenerating. So that's better um, then, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think that's the idea. Have you got a quote? If, you, that, if, you've, got, if you've got a spare hour, if you've got a spare uh, you no know, extra half an hour or whatever, I suppose. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't know if you saw yesterday in Australia, they've reintroduced into uh, one of the supermarket chains a slow checkout for people to chat. Oh, yeah. Was that on, was that in Netherlands, no? Or Holland? Yeah. Was, oh, sorry, the Netherlands. Yes, you're absolutely right. So you're thinking, I guess that's a really, really good thing, though. Uh, talking about your grandmother and talking about older people. Yeah. Yeah, or are you talking has, about like the local shop here, Gar like it's, it was where people got their news or their interaction, I suppose, kind of on a daily basis, you know, or yeah, they now potentially, and I, I know, I know they kind of said it maybe for you know more elderly kind of customers and stuff, but you know, now you potentially you're going there just you know, you're beeping through, you know, in, 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 the, in the checkout area, but yeah, I suppose it's kind of a nice. Bit of, you know interaction for people people need and you even know, in your lifetime in, in the most connected world we're kind of disconnected a lot of times you know? well we're connected to others that are the other side of the world and we don't know their next door neighbor's name or their kid's name it's a it's a it's a great social experiment we're all part of and it's 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 evolving but garrison yeah, yeah. right you've seen garrison change i would say phenomenally even in your few years there because it's would I suggest that it's a commuter town for Dublin? It's, I would, you know, it's interesting actually. It hasn't, it's actually only starting to change. Yeah, like it has changed bits and pieces. There has been bits of building, like didn't, 
you know, during the mid 2000s and that, we didn't get a whole lot of extra housing. There is actually about another, there is actually about 60 houses going in at the moment, 70 houses or something, which will kind of change it. The school has got a lot, like when I went to school there, I think there's generally around 100 pupils spread across whatever you have is our eight stream. So you're talking like 10 people in each class or some, something something like that kind of thing. So I believe that the school is like, you know, double near, near or double that and stuff like that. But yeah, it would be a commuter town, I suppose, or, you know, you know, locally, there'd be obviously a lot of agriculture and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think you are starting to see, I suppose, especially for probably the housing crisis and stuff like that. Yeah, said, there is starting to be a bit more like building and stuff in, in it and a couple more, you know, estates. estates what you need built. now, what you now need, of course, is me, Gaelic team, to start competing again. And if you're right on the board of that. <laughs> Get the that, rivalry going again. That would be the 90s, would it? That would have been. Yeah, that would have been big. Yeah, that would have been, yeah. Yeah, that would have been big during the 90s. Yeah, that rivalry. Yeah, yeah. And did you ever sneak over the border and say I'm from Mead when Mead won and sneak back? <laughs> you know. Oh no, God, you'd be you'd be hung drawn and quartered for that, you know. Would you? Because I I'm the other side. I'm closer enough to. I'm in Enniskerry, and I can see the Dublin border. So I I I absolutely am so victorious when Dublin win the All Ireland <laughs> and stuff, and I never say anything then when they lose on a Wicklow man. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 like it's like Ashburn where so we were at school. Obviously, you have a lot of uh, people that move about there, but yeah, there's a lot of strong Dublin support then at the same time. <laughs> when, 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 when you're when you're across there, but um, I suppose I suppose one sign of development for Gyrus Town is we actually do have a coffee shop now. You know, so you know that's uh, you know. Well, welcome to the that's 20th. sophistication now, isn't it? Welcome to the twentieth century, at least. <laughs> uh, you know, we we we'll, we'll come back to you. And when you have an electric charger and all these other things, and we'll say twenty first century, but it's been short and sharp. But they're always they always are these barstool chats, and we've covered a lot. And uh, Garrettstown, Garrettstown, G A R I S T O W N. That's the one. Check it out if, if uh, it's on the border, obviously, of me and Dublin. And uh, you now know anyone watching, you now know someone that actually is from there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are that person. I am that person. Yeah, yeah. We meet. We meet for a point in Gormley. Now I'll introduce you to the locals. <laughs> I feel I know them already. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck and thanks, Niall. It's been fun. Thanks, Gary. Thank bye, you. Bye.